I think sometimes we use the word poverty a little too easily. Being impoverished, being below the poverty line really means to be in desperate shape. You know, it's hard to survive in poverty and we can't expect children to thrive living in poverty. The Moving Above the Line series is a way for us to, to listen, to engage some of the best minds in this work. Over 200 parent advocates, foundation leaders, policy makers, some of today's best and brightest thinkers. You're at your best when you're in the field sharing and you're listening and you're learning and you're trying to invest the resources where they can go the furthest. As many as six million Americans remain at risk still of losing their homes. And we know because home ownership is so important to families, and particularly single parent families, that this is just a devastating thing for them. Economic security is at the base of our existence. Without that, we're distracted by so many things. Most of the um, people in poverty are single parents, and it's usually single women. And they are, there are a whole range of, of issues that these women face. They often do not have the educational attainment that they need to get jobs that pay family sustaining wages. Our organization, New Economics for Women, is participating in is whole family education for single parents. Collectively, we create the synergy for families and single moms to deal with those issues and help her teenagers understand where they're coming from in terms of financial literacy issues and any other issues that pop up for those families. When one has, the, has been equipped with education, they can do and go any place they need to go. Nobody can take that from you. What was really interesting, and it's not a surprise, that really the only time a lot of these women had access to regular health care was when they had prenatal care. Um, and as soon as they had their babies, they no longer had um, any access to, to, to health care. What is the American dream? For single mothers, is the security that I can make sure that my family is strong and that my children live a better life than I have. It's hope. The more we know about what it means to be in poverty and how difficult that is for that mother every day just to put food on the table for the children uh, is uh, the degree to which we'll be able to find uh, long-term solutions which really take a, a, a system of supports, uh, not any one single silver bullet. I think you have to invest in families, and um, particularly in single parent families where um, it really makes a difference not just between that kid succeeding, but in the whole family succeeding. We want Obama to say, ladies and gentlemen, this is no longer acceptable in this country. Women are the game changers for job creation and the economy. Thank you. What really excites me about this new space and new portfolio around family economic security is for us to really look at children and parents especially looking at children and mothers. We've seen the incredible success of investing in women. We're going to need all of us working together to move above the line. As we reframe, we're reframing everything from how we define poverty to what actual success looks like. This is really about building a network, a sense of momentum, and a sense of voice.